Hi guys, welcome down to Trafford Golf Centre. I'm here with Mr. Nick Holmes and we are going to see what is in the bag. So, looking at the clubs already, we've got driver, three wood. Irons look like the makeup of three iron to wedge and three wedges. So we're going to get a little bit more detail of what's in there. So Nick, do you want to talk us through briefly about what's going on in the wedge department? Uh, wedges, what are we, what are we wedges looking at? I've got three. Uh, they are the Titleist SM5 uh, in the black black finish. Nice one. Uh, stamped with my name there. They are, aren't they? Nice little custom wedges. Very vain. Uh, so I've got, <laughs> I've got three three wedges, uh, 60, 56 and 50, all with mid-bounce. Uh, and that's it. That's it with the nice wedges. One. Good stuff. Yeah. And going into irons. Irons. Uh, now... I started the season with the M, uh, MP2, AP2. AP2. AP2, and didn't really get on with them. I've always played Titleist Blades. Uh, these are actually Nike VR Pros, which I borrowed off a friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I really like them. They're a cool. good club. He's like getting got, them back. They've got Project X 6.5s in them. Uh, and I'm just waiting for a little bit of an upgrade at the start of this season. What so, are you thinking? Uh, possibly the Titleist CB. Um, CB. CB I'm going to go for. A little bit of... Uh, I'm going to have a little trip down to um, St. Ives before the start of the season. I'm looking at the MBs. Oh, I think can't, I'll come and join you. Can't beat the classic. Come and join you down there. Titleist. I was going to say something quite rude then, but better not. <laughs> uh, um, so we've got the makeup then from three to pitching wedge. Three iron. Not many of these around. No, it's lovely. Like a little butter knife. little butter knife. Love mm. it. So is that um, we're not a big not a big fan of the old hybrid? Uh, again, uh, I I'd prefer an iron over a hybrid. Um, we try too. tried Me hybrid. Um, I just get a little bit better feedback off that. Yeah. Hybrid, I felt like I've just got a little bit too much of a right to left on it. Same. Yeah. It's a bit, they always feel a bit out of control sometimes, yeah. don't they? Sometimes, yeah. Maybe it's the club in it. It's not us. No, definitely not. Three wood. What Three we wood. Got? I've got the nine thirteen. Uh, so it's. Uh, couple of years old now but I absolutely love this thing best club in the bag uh, it's set in D2 um, I, don't, I haven't got a clue what that means but uh, it gives me a nice little bit of draw um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely club anyway we've got a nice little Phenom stiff 80 gram shaft in there uh, really really nice club it's a title list. don't know what it does don't know what it says does a draw that's all it needs it's nice. it works that's all it needs <laughs> 9.15? 9.15, best driver I've probably uh, had for a long time. D what? D3. D3, uh, so that's the deeper face, isn't it? Deeper face. Yeah, uh, beauty. 9.5 degrees loft, set D1. Now, I know what that means. Uh, this one is 0.75 degrees left, less loft and slightly open for a little bit of a fade. God, who told you that? But that's um, <laughs> some, some muppets over that. Um, but yeah. I love that as well. Good, really good, good, good. And the newest addition to the bag, we've both yes. been struggling to say this, so we're just going to call it the Ping Mallet. The Ping Mallet Catch Mid something or other with some nice is that little... Your, are they your middle marks? Or little is that middle just... marks. It's a deeper face. It's a deeper face, deeper groove where you're supposed to hit the ball from. I don't hit it from there. I generally hit it from around here or, or here. Selling yourself. Which is why I never make a putt. <laughs> um, Check out the recent vlog. Actually, to be fair, you ripped no, it up with Davey. Right. Did all right, but it's lovely, lovely little putter. Yeah, I was going to say, I, when when he first got it, I was like, oh, it's like the, um, it's like the, it's like the old zebra. Nice little alignment aid. Very nice, very nice. This all like this. And That's you swapped this for the Scotty, didn't you? I swapped it for a Scotty Cameron. Yeah. Who bought that? It was on eBay. Who got it? Uh, I want. I wanted it. It was a chap up in Scotland, actually, Glasgow. Comment below if you bought it, and it is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, cheers, Nick. We've also got name on bag down there, and the title is tour bag. Is that the same as mine? Uh, no, mine's new. Yours than new. Yours. yours is new. No, it's yeah. not. It's the same. It's newer than yours. Looks the same to no, me. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. I think we're both going to go down to uh, title list to for a full kit out by the looks by the sounds of things. Um, what do you think? What does he need to upgrade? Does he need to upgrade anything? Does it matter how old the clubs are or how new the clubs are? Is it what works? Do, yeah. we, do we need to know what technology it is? Clearly not. But it works. If you go out and check on recent vlogs at David Hume, you will see that they bloody work. What was it? Six under? Yeah. Six under for nine holes. 
changed his putter. Yeah. So, cheers, Nick. Cheers for letting us have a look in your bag. Check out Nick's social media below. All the, all the uh, links are below in the information at the bottom. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And we will see you again very, very soon. Peace out. Trying to get rid of my uh, Epson hook. Hold more in front. Right, got a little challenge for you. Driver, off the deck, right, through the goals. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.